Hi everybody and welcome to Storytellers of Mallorca. We've got a wonderful guest with us today, Jenny Glad, who will be introducing herself in a moment. But um, as always, please you know, share these videos, like and subscribe. A call out to Share, my um, sponsor, doing so much good work on my website. It's up and going now, so check that out at www.jamievita.com. And there's a few new, uh, few new ideas on there as well. So thank you for that. And hey, Jenny, welcome. Thank welcome to Storytellers of New Yorker. What a great introduction. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what, <clears throat> excuse me, what drew you to come to New Yorker? Uh, it was actually an accident. So we lived okay. in Germany and we lived there for two, two years with my um, previous partner mm -hmm. and my daughter, who was one year old then, who was born in Germany, in Hamburg. And we had come back from the United States where we lived before for three years and we wanted to be in Europe but we didn't know where so wow. and pretty much like uh, we didn't want to go to Finland so that was something that we knew and we were looking at the map like mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. there's yeah. not that yeah, many yeah, places yeah. actually in in Europe mm. which was like a big mm. thing for me to understand like yes. hey I don't I need to learn the language you know I need to learn French or German yep. or Spanish, you know, to be able to communicate and live here and do what I do for work as well. So, but Mallorca kind of popped up mm. and we came for a holiday and I sat my daughter down to the beach and she was like, oh. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I felt like, uh, yeah, she really enjoyed that, yeah. the beach and the, uh, the sea and we came here to feel how does it feel and decided to come here for six months at first to test yeah. how does it feel and uh, to know better, you know, if yeah. it feels right. Yeah. But then COVID started oh, a no, month no, after no, yeah. we came here and out of the blue suddenly the whole world was closed yeah. down and the lockdown started and everything and there were we in the middle of the uh, our temporary apartment couldn't go outside mm -hmm. and uh, yeah that that's how yeah, yeah. my journey yeah, in here it began i mean yeah that's a it's a it's a story that a, a number of people are saying is that the covid played such a, a big part yeah in the process of them arriving or in that time absolutely and i have met quite a few people in here in mallorca who have just arrived just before or even during yes. the COVID and yeah. I think that's super brave. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> because yeah. the lockdown was so hard in here and yeah. so strict in here and it was not that healthy for yeah. many people. Mm. I'm quite positive and outgoing and always trying to find like a really the lessons learning and growth, you know, yeah. in these obstacles. But yeah. you know, when I'm looking back for four years now that I have been here, I think it was huge transformation yes. time. I didn't even realize what we were going through. I realized and sensed all the fear that mm -hmm. was like mm -hmm. holding the whole world, yes. like yes. everybody yeah. kind of um, yeah. gripped by yeah. the fear yeah. and what could happen. But yeah, yeah. It, it's interesting what, what happened and yes. how yeah. everything yeah, they did a good job because the fear really ran rampant, yes. really, people, and they, they did it there. I mean, you know, it had nothing to do with the, with the pandemic, but toilet paper. Why, yeah. why, was, why was toilet <laughs> paper <laughs> targeted? People filling up two trolleys with yeah. the toilet paper. I mean, hello. But also on. yeast. And, or yeast, of course. Yeah, yeast was hard. Yeah, fresh yeast or any yeast was hard Any yeast. No, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, even yeah. not in Amazon. So. Yeah. I know, I know, it really was. I, mean, I don't know. These were kind of an interesting phenomenon. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think, yeah, yeast you can understand making your own bread, which we did as well. Yeah. From there, but toilet paper, it, it, mm. it wasn't, it wasn't a side effect or anything of the pandemic. No. So, no, 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 not really. Yeah. 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 But that's how, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we decided, and it, it, it's like an international community yes. and English, of course, and um, we knew two people here before right. moving. So that was helpful. So to just to get like some insights and yes. ideas and so forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. And it was in a way, and I've talked about it before, it did bring families and communities together. Mm. 
mm. in a way, especially after that first week where you're sort of, you know, a little bit nervous, more mm. nervous, more stressed, mm. and it did grow. But then people started to, to, to come together like the old times, you know, the, the, the cards would come out, the games would come out. Yeah. Uh, and, and, that, and then families would be Zooming or, you know, through yeah. contact all the yeah. time. Or, yeah. or for us, you know, we see the neighbours across the way and, you know, they don't have cheers to a glass of orange juice or wine or yeah. whatever it was yeah. from there. So it did bring people together more so than I think mm. that they, that they thought. Well, I was in the new country mm. without having too many friends here. And of course, sure. like maybe more connection with my family in <laughs> Finland, yep. where I'm from. But also, you know, I, yeah, it was so it was so chaotic. It was a sci-fi movie when driving to the store. There's nobody anywhere. <laughs> I felt like I had landed to <laughs> yeah. another really? planet. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the yeah. police stopping me. Yeah. You know, where yeah. you going? Why yeah. are you going there? I, I got scared. Yeah. You know, what's going to happen? I yeah. don't understand. Yeah, no, no, no. no. So that was. Mm, that was interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how we handle that sort of situation as well on us, you know, because it really is in our DNA that we are fearful of the police who are yeah. meant to be there to help us. But yeah. they did, you know, and a lot of the times they'd be driving around the streets and people would be out waving to them in the yeah. end, you know, it, yeah. was, it was crazy. Yeah. But it was a time, it was a time for many families that um, was, was a challenge, but also um, brought us together. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, and you know, for me it was like uh, because I'm, I'm used to work online, so mm -hmm. my world has been online mm -hmm. and professionally a long time already before I, you know, started coaching and all that. But it's like uh, that was my natural space yes. to communicate. So my work didn't change. Mm -hmm. um, I started doing different kind of uh, things online. So because I felt like people need. Yeah. need help and yeah. support and, and yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Mm. Um, and you chose Mallorca out mm. of all the other places and, and I've gone through the exercise with my family as well mm. and, it, and the many different reasons that we are here. But why did you choose Mallorca rather than say like mainland Spain or or Italy or somewhere like or Malta where mm. the, you know, we had this some you know, the sunshine or other things going. No, I don't really know. I think it's the international part that Mallorca mm -hmm. is, an island. Um, I don't know, yeah. but it just felt right. Yes. But, you know, basically the mountains, the sea. Yeah. And, you know, I love hiking. Yeah. Sea, it's like a little bit different climates. There yes. are some seasons, so the weather is not always the same, for example. No. Um, yeah. Yeah, because we do we do have a winter here, believe it or not. Yeah. Um, and we do get snow on the hills. And yeah. of course, when Nicole was born, we had snow down onto the beaches. Yeah. And we got photos. Oh, the wow. boats were covered in, in I snow. I didn't know about that. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah. So, and it stayed around for a little while. This year has been very mild, hasn't it? Mm. I mean, we had some snow on the hills, and what do we have a week? We didn't see any, though. Yeah. yeah. It didn't last very long. It was very yeah. thin coated. It's been so dry. But we had a week winter. of winter. You know, yeah, we had a little bit of rain, but we had a very mild winter here. Yeah, you know? yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, it's a place to be to, to get away from the extremes of the mm. of the weather. But then in the summertime, of course, we have the opposite. Yeah, you know, August, end of July, August, where oh, the, where yeah. the heat kicks in. Yeah, you know, and uh, and a lot of people take their holidays to the to the north of Europe. Yeah, where it's a bit cooler. Yeah, but I think like for me, it's like a, it's I'm really feeling based person so how mm -hmm. everything feels how people feel i feel like i don't even look how places feel and of course what happened yes during the covid and after the covid where if we go to the struggle side of it yeah, you know yeah, it's yeah, like the yeah. starting of the divorce process and all that sure it was like a, yeah it's been interesting four years for yeah. me here and but i have felt like last year was the first year that i really start connecting mm. with the island and right. and being feeling more rooted working sure. more with local people having more friends yes. you know yes. putting in a lot of effort to build my life really yes. in here yes 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 so when you when you first arrived you were concentrating mainly on your work and settling in with your daughter yes and that from there um, I had another guest the other day um, who was into sport. Mm. So within the first weekend he arrived, he made 80 new friends and a sort of, you know, that sort of happened yeah. for you. But for you, your story is different. It was a bit, you were Mother of a small child, yeah. you know, take, yeah. that was taking, of course, a lot of 
time and my attention and not being able to go around the island yeah. and explore that much and do the restrictions yes. that took like almost a year yeah. somehow. But then also the personal changes yeah. and, yeah. and yeah. transformation and, and challenges yes. that came up with yeah. the divorce is yeah. like a, the, taking a long mm, time sure. and moving mm. to different houses. Sure. And then, you know, it's like building up everything a yeah. new foundation. Yeah, I mean, in a way, you're saying to the universe, you know, don't make it easy for me. Just, <laughs> just, just throw me in here. Give me a couple more challenges. Oh, let's make a whole world like challenge. Like I needed that. <laughs> exactly. Let's dump everything on Jenny and get her going. Oh my See goodness. See got a handle. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but we can handle so much more than we ever think exactly. that we can handle. But yeah, I think exactly. it's the motherhood that has really taught me that. that yes. You know how much we can actually handle even yeah. though being like super super tired you just have the energy to yes. yeah yeah to do, do that yeah. uh, but it's it's hard yeah. you know yeah. oh my yeah. god yeah. it's, no, it's it been is. challenging i'm not even you know trying sure. to sugarcoat it yeah no no, mm. no 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 that's that is that's that's wonderful that you not only got through it survived and and uh, and and uh not only survived but have progressed and yeah. you're still progressing through Absolutely, but I, I decided to stay here, so mm -hmm. that's what I decided, and that was like a kind of a starting the building up the new foundation. But mm -hmm. I have had to be like very conscious to work on yes. different areas in life, and I have lived. This is my fifth country where I have lived, so it's like a, when we are moving to a new country, mm -hmm. it's like we're ripping off the tree. Yes planting it in a new place yeah. it's like no safety no security yes. it's like yeah. that's yeah. what expats are going through as you know yes. as well but yes. you, you've been moving to different places it's not yeah. an easy task no. to do and nobody no. really understands what they're setting up themselves for because yeah. it will include challenges and obstacles yeah. and yeah. how to make friends and create social connections and you know learning about the culture and yes. culture shock is very real yeah very very real and you said you've lived in five different countries i've lived in probably you know about the same maybe yeah. a bit more but you do get into a, a little bit of a rhythm when you do move to a new country, what well, you've got to set up. You yes. Know, your basic survival things yes. first, and yeah. then you look at stretching out on the social side, and then it, yeah. sort of, it grows from there. Psychologically, so. really, really challenging. Yes. And I see like many people don't even form like a deeper, intimate relationship anymore when they have yes. been living in different yes. countries. Yes. So it's like yes. everything is just moving on and passing by. And, yes. But they yeah. don't feel settled. No, 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 no. And this no. is the feeling that we, I think expats, all of us feeling settled, yeah. feeling home, feeling yes. safe. Yes, yes, yes. In our bodies because of everything changes with moving. It takes a while, yeah, yeah, very much. And Mallorca is very much a, a transit community. I mean, mm. this is why IKEA and the, those sort of places do so well here mm. because there's always new families coming onto yeah. the island, you know, yeah. and, and uh, to have shares and that sort of business would, would be great. But, um, yeah. you know, but everyone is needing to buy to set up their nest again, their home again, mm. which is which is interesting. Which is funny because I met this um, really fun couple and, you know, they said like, if you haven't been here three years, you cannot be a, a friend yet. <laughs> You know? okay. Because they have okay. lots. Yeah, they sure. had lots, so many good friends yes. that they move. Yes. But that's what's always, I yeah. think, happening. Yeah. I think yeah. that's something that we always have to prepare. But you know, yeah. there's a fear of losing people because their friends are becoming so important. Mm. They become family. Very much so. Yeah. Very much so. And the first, especially when the family is, even if it's only two and a half hours away by plane, it's mm. still a distance away. Absolutely. You know, and yeah. it's not like replacing the the, the family's help with the childcare yes. and everything. I'm so used to it yeah. that I'm yeah. so, sometimes thinking like people who have support, and that could be happening in the home country as well, yes. that they are not connected with the. Sure caretakers or parents or something yeah, yeah. but you know it's so it's like a we become so resilient yes we do we do and so strong yes, yes. Yeah, we yeah, have yeah, been yeah, moving yeah, yeah but to move into a new place but mm. to go through these challenges we do and we're and you know, I talk about with my people that I'm working with is that we're never given a test that we can't handle yeah. It's just our, it's just the way that we accept that challenge or that test yeah. or how far we go with it. Yeah. You know, but we can always do something about our situation. Yeah. And yeah, so it's yeah. not so extreme. Let's it's not just... even go to entrepreneurship. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's it. That's true. That's true. <laughs> there would be. It'll be another one. Okay, we'll leave it for another another time from there. Yeah. But with with your daughter, um, mm. how old was she when she when she when was moved? one? She one. was one. Okay, yeah. so she's That's only two. really known here. Pretty much, yeah. As, yeah. A, as a home. Yeah. Yeah. So she's into a local schooling. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And how's she finding that? Oh, really good. But that, as you said, that's all she knows. Yes. So she was yeah. in the local galleria. Yeah. You know, I needed to throw her pretty much in yeah. and yeah. straight to yeah. the Spanish. Yeah. Um, so her Spanish is wonderful. Yes. Catalan as well coming yes. along. So it's like a, how they yeah. absorb languages. It's, it, it's like, like, a, like a sponge. Yeah. Isn't it? It's fantastic. Yeah. So she's got the, the Castellano, the Spanish, the Catalan, yeah. and a bit of English. Of course, yeah. And English, yeah. and then what's Finnish, Finnish as well. Yeah. Finnish so is a four languages. Strong, I would say strongest, but I, of course, my Spanish is not that yeah. good. So sure, that's a sure. bit like a. I'm working on it. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I got yeah. back to it now. I put it on the back burner because okay. I was like, I'm focusing on like, essentials, yes, and, yes, and yes, then yes. it's time for learning new yeah. languages. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, she is. She's she's good. She's adapted well, and then she's been to the. Well, I would I would say so. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's a happy yeah. girl. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, that's yeah. Well, that's, that's a definition yeah. of her. Yeah, sure. know, adaptment. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. No. Was there? Um, I mean, you, there's a lot of struggles you talked about already, mm. but was there one in particular that sort of um, you know comes to mind, or is it a mixture of all the things that we've you've talked about so far? I think it's the mixture of all the things that it's been mm. really like a transformational yeah. for me. It's I I don't even. You know, it's like it's been like a slow tsunami. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah but yeah. I'm, you know, that's not where I am anymore, no. yeah. and I wouldn't yeah. be speaking about these things so yeah. comfortably. No. If I, you know, no, they would no. do that kind yeah. of. Yeah. 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 No, no, you know, you're right. You are comfortable about sharing this, which, yes, which is great. Yeah. Was there a time where you just didn't want to be here? <sighs> that that is, yeah, that's a good question. It was a big sigh. I know, I know, because I'm thinking like it, on the like deepest, darkest moments, did I not want to be here? Mm. I've never, it's like, it's a funny question. I never attach, you know, to the place that much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now I don't want to move anywhere else yeah. either. Yes, so yes, I'm, I'm deciding yeah. like it's good for me to be here. Yeah. Um, I think it's the lockdown, definitely, when we were not able to yeah. go out, not even exercise. Yes. And as I didn't have a dog, you know, yeah. I had no excuse. Yeah. And I think that was very unhealthy for yeah. people's mental yes. well-being if they didn't have any tools, no, you know, no, how to no. meditate, handle themselves, the yes. emotions and yeah. everything. Um, I think then, you know, I thought that I'm... But it was the same everywhere. Yeah. We couldn't go anywhere. No, we couldn't no. fly out. No, 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 no. And, and we were lucky because we have a bit of a balcony and we had a roof terrace which we could yeah. get to. But a lot yeah. of people don't have the terraces oh, yes. or yeah. anything to, to yeah. get outside. Yeah. They're sort of locked in the whole yeah. time. So we had was... little outdoor spaces as well. Right. But as we d were not residents by that over that time, so yeah. we were not able to come back, you know, back as well. So sure. it was like. Sure, sure. Like, yes. what's happening yeah, yeah, in yeah, life and yeah, in the world? Yeah, yeah. No. If there's one uh, piece of uh, advice or something you'd like to mm. share with people that are just moved here or looking to come here, what, what mm. would that be? Well, if somebody wants to move here, it's like uh, I think it's a really, really good to plan, you know, mm -hmm. everything how they're going to, how, how long they're planning to stay, how they're going to make their income. Yep. And not just like, I'm just moving. Well, the young people are doing that anyways. So I'm sure. just moving there and see what's happening. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah <laughs> but yeah. I plan things ahead. And um, I think in, in general, I think this is to all the people who are moving around and becoming expats. It's really yeah. good to think about the both, you know, if there's a family moving, you know, yeah. how they're going to get along professionally, personally, yes. that everything is like yeah. not depending on one person, no, no. you know, so. Yeah, yeah. Because it's it's a challenge. Yes. It's like, a, it's those challenges are happening yes, no yeah. matter what. Yeah, no, whatever country you go yeah. to, you do, you have the local bureaucracy that you've got to go through. Yes. And, and, and to carry on, and of course oh, Spain yeah, is, known, part, yeah. is now known for that as well. 
I, uh, I have experienced it's quite same in all countries. The mm -hmm. paperwork is hard for foreign people yes, and going yes. through it, especially when there's different languages. Yeah, yes, yeah. I think it was the same in Germany in that sense too. So. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. But here, I mean, we have have um, companies that will help. Yes. Which, which is, is great. Which yeah. is great. Yes, yeah, yeah. Well, you have friends that can can help, but certainly yeah. the companies, you pay, if you can afford to pay for them, yeah. um, certainly it's worthwhile for Absolutely. them to stand in line for so many hours and then, Absolutely. no, sorry, that's not ticked. Please go away. Yeah. Or this bit of paper. Yeah, yeah, you know, so, yeah, um, yeah. Absolutely, that, that's yeah. highly recommended. Yeah, yeah, definitely. To definitely. get some help and support. Yes. With with any yeah. everything, yeah. you know. That yeah. Yeah. And there's a lot of support here. Mm. There is. There is. Yeah. There is. Yeah. So that's great. Yeah in here and there's a lot of you know there's a lot of people who will always help when you're asking around in facebook yes. you will get like a proper advice yes. and people are supporting each other yeah, yeah. i think fairly well yeah and pretty much aren't yeah. they? i mean the facebook groups and the other groups that are around the community groups yeah. it really is nice and you yeah. put anything in there uh, yeah. and they always come back with some advice yeah. Like, yeah yeah and we have a wonderful spiritual and conscious community yes and yeah, you know i yeah. think like uh, this island is very conscious yeah, in that yeah, way yeah, yeah, yeah. there's so many yeah. healers and coaches and yes. therapists and all that is yeah. conscious yeah no, 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 for mm. sure now for people that are that are looking at this obviously watching this mm. um what do you do How, what, what is your sort of bread and butter what is, what is yeah, your vocation yeah so i do transformational coaching meaning life and business coaching mm -hmm. For business professionals, entrepreneurs are usually the people who I work with. Yeah. And then hypnotherapy and I help with emotional, mental, physical side. And that's a combination of all. So I provide like holistic solutions for people who feel stagnant in mm -hmm. their life yes. or stuck, not yeah. really knowing what to do next with their professional career, not knowing why their business is not working. Yes. So that's my sort of expertise to help people to start flying yes. again and finding yeah. that purpose and motivation and drive yeah. Yeah. the yeah. energy through healing, coaching, transformation yes. and connecting with the purpose sure. and really deep missions. Yeah, yeah no, that's mm. wonderful. And, and we're going to talk about that again. And, you know, yes. and, um, so uh, that will be good. The people that you're working with, are they here or is it um, a lot of remote work that you're doing? Both. Mm -hmm. I love doing both. I have recently started seeing a lot more since last year, more local clients locally in person, which I love because yes. that helps me to feel more belonging here yes. and feeling yeah. more grounded here on the island. Mm. But I love online work. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm a IT tech girl in yeah. my previous part of life yeah, first yeah. part of my yeah, life yeah, 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 <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm always online online yeah. is lovely and yeah. fab but you know it's like i also love meeting people yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, so no. both yeah no that's good so there is i mean there is work available here that you can go to but when you are setting up your own business as mm. an entrepreneur mm. or doing this then there is um uh, there's work here for you there's mm. people here that, that yeah. need you know your help absolutely which is yeah. good and yeah. then if not then online and of course online it's all around the world yeah so, yeah 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 yeah, yeah. No, that, that is good um when you when you wanted to be here because you came you said before you came to visit mm -hmm. and then you did you go home and then came back for six months is that no, what happened or you no, just stayed i've been on the go for 10 years <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> Okay. And I haven't moved just for fun, you know, mm, it's sure. like I have I don't call myself digital nomad, okay. you know, it's not like it. I would have probably loved to do that when I was younger. Yes, but, yes, um, yes. And there's, there's a visa available now for when that, we isn't moved it? to New York, yeah. Okay, so there's a, just a, the quickly, in there, there is a visa now in Spain, a digital nomad visa. Oh, really? Yeah, that's available. I've only just heard about it. I haven't heard about it. So have a look mm. at that if you're interested in being here. So, yes, yeah, sorry, you went to New no York? Worries. Yeah, yeah. So mm. that's 10 years ago. And then yeah. I had already, you know, I had quite international career working for global companies. Yeah and uh, traveled a lot in, yeah. before that. Yeah. Um, and then we moved to New York and I started my uh, first coaching company over there. Okay. And that was a lovely time, Miss New York a lot. Yeah, I love New York, it. one oh, of my God. favorite yeah. cities, yeah. really, yes, yeah. yeah. And uh, of course, having a baby, everything continued online business and yes. then, you know, it was 
hear yeah. and rest of the story. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. it's just the, yeah, the, the, the being here, being able to do all those things. Um, mm -hmm. And about the, about the living here, what do you love about being here? Nature. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah. And I love Palma as well as a city. I think it's yeah. so vibrant, getting better and better yes, all the time. Yes, yes. You know, thinking about restaurants and everything. Um, and it's quite small. I'm mm -hmm. always, like, sometimes I'm thinking, like, if it's too small, mm. everybody know each other, da, 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 da. But that kind of offers some sort of safety. Sure. I knew sure. when I'm, you know, I have adapted in here when I started meeting people I know at the yeah. streets. Yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. it's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. that like, feels so good. It does feel nice. Yeah. It does feel nice. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so definitely nature, the mountains, yeah. everything yeah. that it offers, it's so beautiful yes. in here. Yeah, it, it really is. And you can go to different parts of the island and it's yeah, all just slightly different, totally different. Yeah, totally different. Kalas and, yeah. and, and the sea and yeah. Um, yeah. variety. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Is there anything you'd like to suggest or say to anybody who might be looking to come here? Is there some advice? Especially to Mallorca. Mm -hmm. um, I think um, what I already said about planning mm -hmm. things carefully and preparing, you know, yeah. Yeah. making the, some sort of plans when things yes. are not working. Yes, yeah, know. having a backup. Having a rainy backup day fund. Plan. Yeah, things, yes. like, I, I think like that. Yeah. Rainy day plan. Yes, so, yeah. 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 Um, we all need those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I think that's it to enjoy it and yeah. to. I think it's a really lovely place for people who yeah. love nature and Great. connected with nature. So I Great. think like yeah. that's it. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for coming on. Storytellers. I mean, your story is they're all unique and it's and it's beautiful. Really, mm. for you coming here with a very you know for, with a very young child mm. and then adapting to island life and that's mm. fantastic. So yeah, um, I'm going to leave Jenny's contact details down below so that if you want to uh, contact her about her coaching and the other things she's been talking about, then please do. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. Big uh, shout out again to Cher. Thank you for all your help that you've been doing. And thank you for you guys, the storytellers of Mallorca community, for, for listening in. And we'll catch up with you soon. Bye for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>